You wanna try one, bud? Yeah! Oh my god, here we go! Here we go! Yes! Yes! Oh my god, they took it! Hey, good morning everybody. As you can see, winter is basically upon us. And I'm gonna be totally honest with you. I do not like cold, I do not like snow, I do not like winter, but I do like being happy. So I decided that I'm just gonna go ahead and embrace the insanity of winter here in Michigan. After all, it is absolutely beautiful out here. Regardless, we are gonna feed the two-headed snake later today, Ben and Jerry. I am so excited about that. It's gonna be absolutely amazing. What do you say we have a great day together? Head over to the shop and just make this awesome. Long time friend of me actually called me up and said, hey, I've got a couple boas. They're kind of a little bit unusual. Do you want them? I just need to get rid of them. Uh, I said, of course. I hadn't seen them, but they're absolutely cool. I'm going to go ahead and show Kelsey and Eric and see what they think about them. Hey, guys, I got some new boas. Oh, I want you to see. Snakes. Take a look. Oh, crack it open, crack it open. They're actually just normal boas, but they're really yeah. crazy looking. I've never seen boas like this, so genetically, I don't know. And I guess he said he produced a whole litter like this, so I think that one of them is really cool. Wow. Oh. I know, those are just- What normal. are these? I know, they're Clean, just, look I know. at, oh, and they're not, wow. They're, they're not hypo boas Whoop. either. Are you sure? Yeah, what? Yeah, these are not hypos. I don't know a heck of a lot about they're boa morphs. They're beautiful. Morphs, these are yeah, they're beautiful. beautiful. You can tell by the tail that they're not hypos because the hypos wouldn't have the black oh. pigment on the tail like this. Like it would come down. This is kind of hypo-ish, but you can still see the black coming through and it certainly doesn't look hypo. Look at this like really nice light tan rusty color. And... I know, I'm just excited about it. I mean, wow. I, I love that. the reduced pattern. I know, that's what I'm saying. They're just they're so beautiful. cool. Except the whole already proofs 18 of them like this. But ironically wow. enough, out of 18, there was 15 males and two females. So he kept the two females, sold the other 16 off as normals to like a pet shop. And so he was gonna raise these up, but he decided to get rid of them and uh, we're the lucky oh recipient. So. That's awesome. When I first opened them, I thought they were actually Bolivian red tail. They aren't, they're just normal Colombians. I mean, how crazy, these huh? These are incredible. I know. They're nice so. and chunky. They're really yeah. good looking yeah. snakes. Yeah, that's awesome. So, all right, cool. All right, we're gonna set those up. I guess, I think we're just gonna raise them up because they're too cool not to. I'm a little bit anxious about feeding the two-headed snake. I'm hoping that Ben and Jerry will eat because that first meal is so important. But before we do that, I'm actually going to try to feed the monitors some croc diet. You guys know I like to vary up the diet, and this croc food is actually a great little nutritional thing. Let's see if they'll eat it. And again, I've talked about how varying the food is so important with so many animals, but in particular with monitor lizards. And again, with Elvis and Abasuka and stuff like that, we feed them rodents, we feed them chicken, we feed them ground turkey, eggs, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to try this again, Missouri croc chow, which again has all the kinds of nutrition that crocodiles can actually live on this pretty much full time. I mean, although you should give them some full body prey now and then, but uh, I think it'll be a good change up. It looks like Elvis is definitely interested, so let's see how he does. Elvis, you wanna try one of these? You wanna try one, bud? Yeah. Oh my gosh, there he goes. How awesome is that? What are you gonna do? Oh my God, he seems to love it. Oh my gosh, look at that. Oh, 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 and <laughs> down the gullet. Oh my gosh, Elvis, that was awesome. You wanna try another one? You wanna try another one, bud? Oh yeah! Oh my god! Again, I wasn't sure how this was gonna go, but he seems to absolutely love it! Oh my gosh! Look at him! Oh my god! That is the cutest thing ever! And then right down the gut, I'm gonna give him one more, but I think I'm gonna drop it in his water! Come on, Elvis! Here we go! <laughs> Perfect. And that just gives him a little bit of an enrichment thing, right? So that he can go in the water, kind of play around, see like that. Oh my gosh. He just keeps dropping it. That is so cute. Oh my god. Look at it. Seems like he's actually enjoying it. And again, I think that that's what it's all about. It's just that enrichment. He's playing with it. He's picking it up, he's dropping it again. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Oh, oh see, there he goes again. Elvis is just like a little puppy. He's like playing catch with it. This is awesome. Elvis, that's so cute. So I'll go ahead and let Elvis play with this for a little while. That is absolutely amazing. Let's see if Abasuku would like it too. I have no idea how this is gonna go. In all honesty, Abasuku's a little bit on the heavy side, so this might be a good diet for her. Come on, girl, you want that? 
There she goes. She definitely took it. Oh my god. <laughs> Again, I think it's really weird how it seems like they absolutely like to almost play with it. I've never seen that before because they don't do that with rodents, so that is cool. I think I'm going to do the same thing with Abasuku and maybe just throw one in her water and let her kind of go after it. Abasuku, what are you doing, silly? You stay, girl. You stay. There, girl. There's another one for you, sweetheart. Oh my god, I love it. Again, I'm gonna drop one in her water and then let's try Argamus Prime. Obviously, Argamus is definitely smaller than Abasuku or Elvis, so I just broke off a little piece like this. I have no idea if he's gonna like it or not. Normally, it's a very aggressive eating animal, so uh, let's hope it works out. Argamus, you want food? You want food? Come on. You want food? Whoa! Uh oh. You want food? Okay, come on. Take it. Take it. Uh oh. Argus, you don't like it? Oh, there he goes. There he goes. Oh, whoa, whoa. Holy cow. Wow. Wow. I didn't expect that at all. It just came out of nowhere. Argus, you're such a crazy man. Holy cow. Argus. Oh, my gosh. <laughs> oh. It still might have been a little bit big. I thought I broke it off small enough, but maybe it's still a little bit large for him, but he'll be able to crunch it down. Just like Abasuku and Elvis, he seems to be kind of playing with it and toying with it a little bit. Oh my gosh, that is so awesome. Again, I'm not gonna feed the monitors this all the time, but once in a while, I think this is a really good treat for him. There you go, Argus. Just got, oh, wait, there it goes. Oh yeah, there it is. Oh my gosh. Again, varying that diet is so important. It's going to be absolutely amazing. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and feed some super worms off to a couple of my animals before we feed that two-headed snake. We really vary the diets with the blue tongue skinks. We give them vegetables. We give them low-sodium dog food. We give them super worms. All kinds of different things. Let's go ahead and give Potato one of these. Usually loves it. Potato, you want? There you go, buddy. There you go, buddy. <laughs> You want another one? There you go. There you go, buddy. Okay, one more. One more, sweetheart. Oh, yeah. Potato, that's so good. <laughs> we don't normally give them too much, but these are the things that we do not only for enrichment, variety, all that type of stuff, and we really enjoy it. I get such a kick out of feeding these animals like this, but Bella loves superworms, and so does Irwin. <laughs> Let's go ahead and give Irwin one. There you go, Irwin. There you go. There you go, bud. Oh, what are you doing, silly monkey? Oh my gosh, you're so cute. There's another one, Irwin. There you go. There you go, sweetheart. You are a pig. One more. There you go. <laughs> I, I do. I have the best job in the world. Then, of course, I have my girl, Bella. She loves superworms, hornworms, all kinds of stuff. Again, you don't give them too much because she eats mainly vegetables. And then the Missouri, actually, iguana diet she eats as well. But uh, let's go ahead and give her a treat. <laughs> I guess she didn't even let me hand feed her. She's just like, I'm going to eat these on my own. Still, Bella, you're such a silly monkey. Oh my gosh, I love you, girl. <laughs> okay, so that's it for the treats for the animals. The monitor thing was really, really cool. Let's go ahead and feed this two-headed snake, Ben and Jerry. Before we get going with feeding Ben and Jerry, I gotta tell you, I'm a little bit nervous. I always say that first meal when you first get an animal is so important. It just makes all those nerves kind of go away. And with the two-headed snake, that's even more so. Now, of course, Ben and Jerry are adults, so we'd assume that they're eating very well, but this is the very first meal. So once I can get that meal in, everything else calms down. I go, all right, they're eating now. Now I know how they eat. We'll both head 
Ramsey with only one head eat. We know that the left head is dominant and has the predominantly eating, but we know both of them can eat. So we'll offer it to both and we'll see what happens. And then once that happens, I can calm down and go, all right, we might be all right. What do you say we give it a shot? Okay, and here we go. Come on, girls. Are you gonna eat for me? Come on, come on, come on. You guys gonna eat? Oh, I hope that they're gonna go. They don't show any interest right now. Doesn't seem like they're interested at all. Okay, okay, okay. Here we go. Yes, yes. Oh my God, they took it. How freaking awesome is that? I was so nervous, but yes, they took it. Tell you what, what a relief. When I first offered, it didn't seem interested, and I was in like complete panic mode, like, oh my god, these guys aren't gonna eat. And then the left head took it, then took it, no problem. I honestly could have probably enticed Jerry a little bit more, the right head, but uh, to be honest, I just wanted to see it eat. So that was absolutely incredible. Ben and Jerry ate for me, which is super, super cool. And now I can get that baseline I've been talking about with stress, right? So now I know that it eats, I can see how it passes it through its system, and then if we handle it, we can kind of tell if it continues to eat and continue to do everything, we can handle it more and more and more. It's just kind of that baseline that I really needed, but awesome, unbelievable. Ben and Jerry, the two-headed California king snake, ate its first meal at the Reptarium. Everything is looking good here at the Reptarium, fed well, everything went good today. Oh my God, I just love it over here. But let's go ahead and wrap things up over here, as well as wrap things up here at BHB and head home for the night. And I am home and I think I'm gonna go ahead and shut the vlog down here, spend some time with my family and just wish you guys an amazing day, evening, whenever you happen to be watching, was it so amazing that Ben and Jerry ate? I am so, so excited. And I had a good, I just had a great time today. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Can you do me a couple favors before we get out of here? Can you smash that like button? Turn those post notifications on so you know when I upload a video. Leave a comment down below because I love reading about your guys' beautiful faces. Be kind to someone and I promise I will see you guys tomorrow.